So Red Dragon has sent out not one, but two mice for me to check out and show you guys today. Now, one of them is the Bullseye and the other one is the Bullseye Pro gaming mice from Red Dragon. And to be honest, for the price that you're getting here, and I'm gonna tell you guys the price later, these are actually two of some really incredible mice, and I didn't really know that for gaming, ergonomics is something that we should all really do consider moving forward. All right, so as you can see here, we do have the bullseye in both configurations. This is the regular bullseye, and this is the pro. Now, to get a lot of the similarities out of the way, it does retain the exact same ergonomic shape, as well as the button configurations. You do have the two side buttons here. You do have the DPI buttons on the top, as well as the scroll wheel. And then on the back, even though there's a little bit of differences as the mode switch on the pro version with the little compartment for your wire is dongle um everything is pretty much all the same and they both do have a mode switch button obviously on the bullseye pro you do have your usb connector to charge your mouse if you wish and then the non-pro bullseye does have this amazing white lightweight braided cable um which is really nice in my opinion the only thing i don't like is that this usb connector i think is fairly long for what it is to be honest i don't like it that it's extremely long some people might like it some people might not but i just wanted to put it out there but these are just the similarities between each mouse and now to get to the differences most of it is actually just on the internals so like i said the bullseye is a wired mouse and the bullseye pro is the wireless mouse but the differences don't end there now one of the biggest differences is actually just the sensors of the mouse that's being used in each one the regular bullseye has a paw 3327 sensor which is has a rating of 12,400 on the dpi and 30 g's of acceleration while the bullseye pro uses a paw 3395 sensor which has a maximum dpi of 26,050 and 50 g's of acceleration now to simplify what this means the Bullseye Pro sensor is capable of tracking your movement a bit more accurately as you move the mouse really fast, at least compared to the non-Pro Bullseye. That's the best way I can try to explain these G-acceleration numbers advertised here. And obviously DPI is just the sensitivity of the mouse and how fast the mouse moves, which you can obviously change within the settings and within the program that you can download for the mouse. Now the Pro is a bit more tailor-made for more precise and accurate movement tracking. Although to the average user, which I consider myself, I didn't really notice that much of a difference. Now I'm sure others will definitely notice a difference, but I'm more of a casual gamer now who doesn't really take competitiveness very seriously. So for me, the differences are very minimal, but it's still something to keep in mind if you used to wish these for different cases. Now, these are just the differences in each mouse, but something that I haven't really talked about is the overall shape. And I'm gonna put the regular bullseye down so I can hold the Pro. Now, what I really love, and this is my favorite thing about this mouse, is just the overall shape. So, for a quick comparison, I do have my daily driver, and this is the Razer Basilisk Ultimate, which I've been using for about two years now. And I want you guys to check something out. So, when I'm holding the mouse, you can easily see that my thumb sits very nicely. I do have my index and middle fingers on each side of the mouse. And then I have my ring and my pinky finger kind of just dangling out here. So as you can see, this is the overall um, way I hold this mouse. But compared to the Bullseye Pro, when I rest it, not only am I sitting my thumb, index, and middle finger comfortably, but there's also there's these nice grooves that are on the right side of the mouse to comfortably sit my ring and pinky finger. So now I have all of my fingers on my hand sitting comfortably on this mouse. And another thing, because this is arced a little bit higher, my fingers um, of my index and middle don't really stick out as much as compared to the Razer mouse. They stick out way more and I kind of would have to have a claw grip as this one. I can just rest my palm on it 
very comfortably. This is something I didn't really notice I would enjoy coming into checking out this mouse, but the ergonomic shape is really fantastic. And for a gaming mouse, I know a lot of Office users really do promote a lot of ergon ergonomics when it comes to mice, but for gaming, it's something I, I feel like a lot of people don't really talk about. So to have something like this now feels really, really good to use. So I feel like for what you're getting here, by the way, the Bullseye retails for under $30 and the Pro retails for $40. I think for what you're getting here, the ergonomic shape, the differences in sensors, and just the overall scope of both of these mice make it a really good compelling option for those who want a gaming mouse, who doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but also takes comfortability into their decision making. I feel like this is a really great option for a lot of those who are not willing to break the bank and still receive something that feels really good to use. And I also didn't, didn't mention to show you guys, but this does have RGB. Now both mice are pretty much the same. You do have RGB on the scroll wheel, on the Red Dragon logo, and on the bottom you have this nice, very nice um, RGB here that's diffused and looks really, really good. So I think for what you're getting here, both of these mice are very good, compelling options for those who don't want to break the bank, want something that feels really good to use and loves the ergonomic shape. And like I said, this is for big hands. I don't think small hands would enjoy this as much, but if you have big hands like I do, this is a really good option. So these are the Bullseye and the Bullseye Pro. Um, I really do think that these are really great gaming mice. When it comes to ergonomics, it might be one of the best ergonomic gaming mice, especially for the price point of $30 and $40 respectively. I'm definitely going to be using the Bullseye Pro a lot for productivity while gaming at the same time if I really do need to have that in handy. It might actually do replace my Basilisk Ultimate unless I find something else. But right now, when it comes to ergonomics, both of these mice can't be beat for these price point when it comes to gaming. So if you guys do wanna check them out, I do have them linked in the description below as well as my personal coupon code so you can save 10% off of these mice plus any other Red Dragon products within their website. So I definitely wanna thank Red Dragon so much for sending both of these mice for me to check out. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to hit like and also so do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys all so much for watching and we will see you all in the next one.